Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to you all. Uh, today in the grade 7 for the subject physics, today we are going to continue our lesson from the chapter 13 that is pressure. In the today's lesson we are going to continue from the page 79 and here we are going to continue our lesson with the chapter 13 pressure. Now here let's see what are the learning objectives in today's lesson. First thing which we are going to see in today's lesson that is about the hydraulic machines. Also we are going to see that how this uh, hydraulic machine works, what is the principle behind it that we are going to see here in this. And also we are going to talk about the hydraulic disc brakes. So let's start with the hydraulic machines, the principle of hydraulic machine. The hydraulic, uh, the hydraulic system works on the principle of Pascal's law which says that the pressure in an uh, enclosed fluid is uniform in all the direction and as the pressure is the same in all the direction the smaller piston feels a smaller force and a large piston feels a large force so now here look at the diagram which gives you an idea about the smaller piston here this is the smaller piston this is the larger piston also we can see in the another diagram here here the force is going to be uh, here we can say that input of the force and here it is the output of the force where this is the distance d is the distance here d1 which is the distance for force here this this force we are considering as f1 this is the distance for the four uh, the, this is the distance for the d2 that is we are considering this for the force f2 and from this we can find out the force uh, or area is equal to uh, force of a or force of b or we can say that the input force and the output force we can find it out from this uh, 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 now what you can say from this uh, uh, experimental procedure so now here let's see about the uh, how this works so the pressure is transmitted from one piston to another piston from this one piston this f1 is the one piston p1 we can say piston for p1 this uh, from here it is transmitted to the another piston that is p2 this is the force which is being transmitted here and uh, so piston uh, 2 moves out uh, out a little bit and the pressure is the same as both both ends at uh, piston 1 and at piston 2 this is piston 1 and this is piston 2 so pressure is the same at the both uh, both the pistons and also it is cause a small force acting over a small area whereas uh, it exerts the larger force acting over the larger area and the force has been magnified here so you can see that this is the area which is uh, for the uh, piston one where you can see where it is very small area whereas this if you talk about this it has a big area and this can give you the multiplication of the force so with this we can uh, say that how this uh, hydraulic machine they are being worked that we can say from this based on the Pascal's law it can be uh, used uh, by the Pascal's law and the pressure in an enclosed fluid is uniform in all direction that can be find it out with the help of these two diagrams so now here further part of the lesson we are going to talk about the hydraulic disc brakes for example here if you talk about the brakes of the car in a car disc brake system the driver's foot pushes down on the brake uh, brake pedal which uh, pushes a piston and then this piston exerts pressure on the hydraulic brake fluid the increased pressure in the fluid is transmitted to pistons on either side of the large disc on the uh, on the axle and the pressure causes the pistons to uh, squeeze the disc uh, creating friction that uh, that slows the car and the same pressure is applied to the 
brakes on all the four wheels. So now here, if you see this diagram, which is uh, showing us the the driver is uh, pressing here. So this is the brake pedal where the driver presses uh, uh, with his uh, shoes. He can uh, press the brake, and uh, with his leg he can press his brake here. And then this we can see that how this working in all all the way. So this is what we are going to say that the hydraulic car brakes this brakes how how does it works and uh, also we can say that when it is uh, like uh, when the uh, uh, it pushes the piston the driver uh, he, he pushes the pedal brake pedal then it pushes the piston that is the left we can say that this is the uh, it is pushing here now here this uh, fluid which we can see that green fluid the, uh, this piston exerts pressure on the hydraulic brake fluid which is green and increase the pressure in the fluid is transmitted to the piston on the other side either side of a large disc on an axle so here this is the axle here it can press, uh, put the pressure and then this and this is the larger piston here and it can work it, in this brake pads which we can see here these brake pads this axle for the wheel and brake disc also we can see that this is the brake disc this round big shape brake disc and this is the axle this is the axle so in another diagram also you can say the same thing we can see here the disc rotator is here we have uh, purposely uh, took it out for to see that how does it works so these are the all the functioning of this uh, hydraulic disc brakes and also we have seen that the such uh, different machines which are used in the hydraulic disc brakes so here you can say that uh, this is the bucket cylinder this is the arm cylinder and this is the boom cylinder this kind of machines you might have seen for the moving arm on on this uh, mechanical digger uh, which we can see in the construction works where the road construction or some different kinds of construction works are going on there particularly we can see such kind of machines how they are working and all this so uh, this is what the hydraulic machine and this is also the another which is also working uh, with the same uh, principle so this is all about the today's lesson about the hydraulic machines and the hydraulic disc brakes so with this uh, uh, i will be going to conclude here the today's lesson and i'll be back with the new video for the further part of the lesson till then thank you and good